Well, good afternoon, Facebook group. Welcome to the month of August. We're having a spectacular period of weather here in Greater Vancouver. I hope wherever you live, everything is well. You're safe, you're sound, you're washing your hands, you're keeping your distance. And I'm just coming back from a nice little exercise routine on a daily basis. And I just wanted to chat with all of you about some of the reading that I did recently about Stoicism. The ancient philosophy back 2,000 years ago, the great Roman philosophers, Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, etc. And they spoke about the six time management techniques. Six time management techniques. Words of wisdom. Here we go. Number one. Number one, time management. Remember that you will die. <laughs> Remember that you will die. We're going to one day leave this planet and it is so important. And a lot of the reading that I do with Stoicism is to be mindful of that day. Because when you're mindful of that day, that only God knows when that's going to happen for you and I. It will put a much more uh, stringent and uh, decisive um, point in your plans to get stuff done in your life that's important to you. Because you have no idea that we've been given this day when we've woken up how grateful we are. But we have no idea if tomorrow we will be here. So just knowing your mortality, step number one from the Stoics, is a great value in time management. Knowing whatever's going on, you'll get things done. Number two, value your time more than you value your possessions. Our most precious asset is not everything that we own or anything else. The most precious thing you and I have is time. Money comes and goes, possessions come and go, but boy, this second that we're talking has come and gone. So from a time management technique and perspective, value your time more than anything else, more important than any other possessions. When you put value on your time every day when you wake up, knowing the top three priorities in your day that you gotta get done in your business, in your family life, in your health, same three or four topics the whole world speaks about. You'll value your most precious time in doing the things that are most important for you. Number two, time management from the Stoics. Number three, love this one, be ruthless to the things that don't matter. Let that one sink in with you. Be ruthless, ruthless, ruthless to the things that don't matter. How many people out there um, are so distracted and at the end of the day, at the end of a work week, where has the time flown? Versus someone that doesn't let those things distract them. They are ruthless in understanding that those things that don't matter don't matter. So don't waste time with things that are going to take you off your course. So six time management techniques. Number three is just be absolutely ruthless to the things that don't matter. Point number four from the Stoics in terms of time management techniques. If you can, try to finish that sentence. If you can, guess what they say? Do it now. If you can, do it now. Remember, time doesn't stop for anyone. Whether you have lots of money or you have no money or anything in between or any situation you and I are in. If you can do something now, don't wait till tomorrow. Okay, the past gone, tomorrow's not here, all you have this moment now. So in terms of time management, if you can, do it now. If you can make that phone call to that person, do it now, okay? Let's not regret our lives for the things that we're holding on to, scared, fearful, you name it. Point number five in six time management techniques from the Stoics from 2,000 years ago, we can learn from our forefathers. Realize what time off really means. And I've got to learn to do this because I'm always on. <laughs> so they say, realize the time that you have off, rest actively. Great advice from 2000 years ago. So what do I take from that? 
I'm always on. My wife Sally says I'm always on. As an entrepreneur, I'm always on. Even when I'm off, I'm always on. So realize that when I have the time off, try to work on, you know, resting actively, okay? Not just here, but really there, or here, but really there. So great, great, great mindset from the Stoics about time management. By resting when you rest, uh, you'll be that much more productive when you're on. And I am productive, but I need to really, I mean, I sleep unbelievably well. But during the day, sometimes I get caught up, okay? And the sixth time management technique from the Stoics to better manage your time is at the end of every day, and I share this with all my leaders in my organization, at the end of every business day, no matter what business you're in, especially in our spectacular, uninterruptible business right now, is put your day up for review every day. Bookend your day, just like you should, you know, start your day in the right. That's another call. I've done other calls about starting your day out right. But put your day up for review. So what are we talking about? Not just, uh, you know, uh, sitting down, you know, putting your day to review, meaning watching a three-hour Netflix movie and crashing. Not judging anyone. Are you serious about your goals? Do you have that very strong vision that Casey Council spoke about this morning on the General's Call? Put your day up for review. Review your day. It takes me only about five to ten minutes with my journal to see when I woke up what I had planned for the day, what I intended to accomplish that day. Put it up for review. How did I do? What did I not do? What could I have done? What did I, what I could have not done? And bookend it with the idea that tomorrow, do I need to spill over from today something that I got to get done tomorrow? Be monomaniacal. That's another word from Robin Sharma. Uh, monomaniacally focused on what you're doing and bring every day to a close. Button it up and be prepared from the bookend from the evening before to wake up the next morning ready to go. That evening review will help you get off to a sprint the next morning. Okay, guys, I hope you got some value from that from them Stoics 2,000 years ago. Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, Seneca, some great writings and teachings from the Romans, like I said, well over 2,000 years ago. I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, remember the first one. Remember that we're all going to die. Remember your mortality. Think about it often. It will literally um, make you get out of bed and, and get going with what you got to accomplish on this planet while we have another day given to us tomorrow. God bless you all. Bye-bye.